morning, Timeless Travelers. Turn left on Garden of the Gods Road. <laughs> Good morning, Timeless Travelers. We are, um, afternoon? Afternoon, my bad. Anyway, we were up and moving around this morning, and I'm just not getting to the vlog. Anyway, we are headed to Battlefield, Colorado. It is an outdoor, um, laser tag uh, arena so we will show you guys when we get there but we are ready we're excited um, in three quarters of a mile we'll be Stand there in a little bit so we'll I show you when we get there below. hopefully you guys have been enjoying this uh series go ahead and give it a thumbs up go ahead and subscribe to the channel because we know you're going to enjoy today's video so we'll see you guys when we get there it's moreno avenue Arrived at your destination. Cool. You guys are all set. You already did your waivers. You took care of the payment. Just everyone who's participating. Okay, who's watching you upgrade? Me. <laughs> what you need to upgrade for? It's the standard uh, weapon right did you there. Not see what's down here? <laughs> what's down here? Uh, MK-18 or M4. <laughs> you want an M4? It's just a thing. <laughs> yes. That's semi-auto, that's full-auto, that's full-auto. Whatever, you're fine. I want the Sabre then. If he likes the Sabre, I want the Sabre. <laughs> you don't want it because I got it? Petty. Petty Wop. Petty LaBelle. Mm -hmm. M4. How are you throwing them, M4? Where are you going? You getting two M4s. Two M4s, okay. You got all my M4s now? I'm going to go with the Commando. Commando? You getting a, you Big getting a Commando? $10 even, so we'll come out to 40 for you then, sir. Yeah, I uh, think. Hey, sorry, I didn't focus. Um, so you upgraded to the Sniper. I upgraded to the Saber. It's the MK-18, the proper name. <laughs> it's the what? MK-18. I told you. It's the compact M4. <laughs> Whatever. Don't even care. Y'all see what I got to put up with, right? This is the kind of nonsense I got to deal with. Yeah, I didn't even thought he was going to pick an AK. So we got 10 minutes to kill. Um, they're waiting on some more teams to get here. And then it's a go, it's go time. So I'll let y'all know once we get started. Right, so here's the rules stay 10 feet away from your opponent our battlefield is one level no climbing urban environment beware of your surroundings keep the guns off the ground keep your speed to a jog or less keep interactions family friendly if you have any questions talk to a marshal all right thank you everyone for bringing them i know it is no governor mandate to wear them we also understand that while running with them it is kind of harder to breathe with them especially when you start getting heavier exercise so if you guys just want to drop the mask down while you're playing, we're completely okay with that. We just ask if you ever come back into like a crowded space like this, or if you ever approach anyone not in your household, just put the mask up for social courtesy. Okay? Now, like I said, we do have those couple of reefs, so I'll just jump right to the safety. Here in a little bit, we're splitting everyone up into one of two teams. Once we do that, we need you guys to keep 10 feet between you and your opponent. So unfortunately, no vengeful uh, melee attacks on friends and family today. Please don't hit each other with these guns. This is a one level playing field. There are barriers, barricades, ladders, and trailers. Please keep both feet on the ground while you're playing today. Also, as you notice, it's an urban environment. So there's uneven terrain, loose gravel, and blind corners out there, especially in the building. The ground can be a little bit slick, so please just be aware of your surroundings while you're playing. With that said, we definitely want you guys to stretch your legs, get your exercise while you're out of your playing today. We just ask you guys to keep it controlled, just because there is a few of us, we want everyone to be nice and careful. The guns we're gonna pass out, these guys are really cool. They're also really important to us. So if you guys ever need to tie your shoe, fix your headband or anything, please give the guns off to a teammate or one of us. We'll be happy to hold it for you. Just please do not put these guns on the ground. With that said, going prone, which is flat on your stomach, is completely okay. If you wanna go underneath the trailers, into the bushes, however dedicated you are to the cause, uh, we're completely okay. Uh, just please take your time. Please do not start uh, taking long dives onto those positions, especially in the concrete and gravel. Uh, it is real concrete and gravel, so please do not, okay? Uh, we're family from the environment, so any pro uh, you know, all the trash talk, any looks, gestures, please keep it all G-rated. Uh, no harsh words towards others. We'll all leave uh, as better friends. And last but not least, I've already talked about it, but we are here for you. Any problems, any questions, any concerns, anything you want to ask, please let us know. We want to, okay? Any questions with safety, all pretty easy stuff. 
kind of boring, I know. Oops, cool. All right, time for the more fun set of the weapons. I'm going to pass the tracker. All right, this is standard issue rifle. Uh, to adjust the stock, you press the button's tab, move to desired length, and push in. All guns will have a red dot sight. To aim properly, you put stock in your shoulder, aim down the sight. There should be a red dot in there. If you don't see it, come get one of us. What you're aiming for is one of four sensors on the tip of the gun and through on this ninja headband. <laughs> she has 70 rounds in her magazine, full auto by beats the standard gun by 200 rounds, 200, 300 rounds, 300 to 5. So it's friendly fire, not a thing. There's no friendly fire. You can shoot at your friends, but you sure it doesn't do anything. <laughs> <laughs> so we are uh, on opposite teams of the kids. So this is going to be fun. <laughs> you ready? Yeah. Let's do it. Reloading. I saw two coming to the right. Oh, come on! They all went right as soon as we left. <laughs> I was like, I'd shoot someone, they didn't die. Yeah. I had to, uh, wait. Hold right, on. Let me see your. I don't know what you're dying. Yeah, I had four. How many times did you die, Joe? I don't know. I killed you a I was like, when I saw that, I was like, right here, because I couldn't get up to get you, because I'm already real low health. I'm like, right here. He's like, yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. I only got one. <laughs> I died a lot. What are you talking about? No, the GoPro is tilted yeah, that's the sky. What... It's supposed to be forward like that. So you can see in front of you. Oh, he's like, he was just murdering me. I was like, wait, where? And then I looked at something. Eight minute game. Now, like I said, there will be a total of 15 arrows. Four will start on the field while the rest are shot out periodically with our arrow launching device, also known as a bow, okay? <laughs> We're gonna shoot them off towards the middle of the field. We can also shoot them in the alleyway as well. So just be aware, whenever you hear us say volley, look at the skies and see where it's going to land. Now, when it comes to carrying arrows, each person can carry one. Everyone on your team can be carrying one, that's okay, but just one per person. 
Once you have it in your hand, you're good to bring it back to your bucket or wherever, wherever you want to put it. However, keep in mind, uh, if you die while you're going back to base, you must just drop it right at your feet and keep going. Please do not throw this as far as you can. Uh, please don't throw it on the ground really hard. Just let it down at your feet. You can come back for it once you respawn. Okay. Oh, it ain't going to be there. Oh, yeah, well, probably not. <laughs> Shouldn't be good. It seems to be the right job, Greg. Now, keep in mind, there are 15 arrows, and all will be shot out before the end of the 8-minute game. At that point, the only way to get more arrows is to steal from the other team's bucket. And that is completely okay. You are allowed to steal from the other team. Uh, same rules apply, only one in your hand at a time, uh, but you can steal at any point. You will know exactly where your bucket is, you just will have to kind of find where their bucket is. Okay, so you just keep in mind, uh, you will have to kind of look around, uh, but I'm sure it won't be too hard to find once you know where they're coming from. Okay? Other than that, uh, that's pretty much everything I have for you guys, so if you have any questions. Does it start with any arrows at, out, like right at the beginning? Yep, like I said, four will start on the field. Yep, and they'll be kind of... One already coming up. Alright, pushing up. Watch in front. Watch in front. Pushing up and across. Watch my back. I got it, I got it, I got it. Grab it, grab it, I'll cover you. I don't know if this heals me up or not, but I'm checking anyway. <laughs> that guy's under there like men of valor. Yeah. So if that's a round, like, here, let me show you what I'm talking about. I know what room is. Really quick, before you're getting the back, I want to go over two things just because you guys are an office, you guys get to notice it faster. Alright. It's crazy, they're like. <laughs> You said we can't close the metal doors. We can close these doors, right? Yeah, Until they're blown away. Yeah. I was talking about the ones you said were blown open. I was like, you said we can't close those. No, no, no. Before the game starts, you guys can close whatever you want. It's once the office opens them. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. I'm. Appreciate one of the things. Five. Send it about. He was talking about staying over there and keeping all of it. What's the name? I'll find this one. Mm-hmm. What about it? They're gonna search every door. Huh? They're gonna search every door. I know. You wanna hide? Look. All right, stay in there. Stay in there if you want. Hmm? Stay in there if I you want. I'm gonna tell people about the room. Guys, there's a red team. There's a bathroom back here with a shower curtain. If anyone wants to hide in there. <laughs> oh, so I guess we're defending this. Guys, who's defending? Guys, who's defending this side? Alright, okay, because they have a good field of view on this right here. I was like, you might want to hug this wall right here. Alright, so me and you are good. Let me check if this is on. Hey, can you tell if that's on? Um, I don't know. Is there a red light up here? Oh, yeah, it's blinking. Okay.
Okay. They're coming this door. They're coming this door. I don't know how I got hit. I was behind a wall. Infrared. Yeah. Nah. That's what I was like. <laughs> I was behind the wall. I was like, oh yeah, bounce. I think I got some. I'm not sure. He said, shoot that guy. I feel like there should be some friendly fire. Yeah. I'm not hot. I'm not hot. Alright guys, so we are done at Battlefield, Colorado and headed to, um, what's the name of this place? Casterly Rock Outlet. <laughs> Casterly Rock Outlet, that's it's not Castle the name Rock. of it, it's Castle Rock. Outlet uh, to Castle Rock. Outlets at Castle Rock, that's the name of it, so. So, yeah, this is where we're going, Outlets at Castle Rock. Alright, so we came to Rudy's Barbecue, uh, interesting development it's a restaurant with the outdoor seating and all that fun stuff that sells gas so yeah so we're gonna see how long the wait is um because i'm pretty tired after going battlefield colorado going heavy and then going to uh the mall so we're gonna see how long the line is and if it's more than 40 minutes we're gonna call it and go home so this is the inside of the restaurant we're waiting so you have to order your food and then if there's an open table you can sit at it if it's not open then you have to take your food to go um, so they can limit capacity but this is what it looks like inside Folks, is right by your plate. So, guys, we got spicy jalapeno sausage. Will got some prime rib and something else. I don't know. I got a, a baked potato and a turkey sandwich. Dalen has ribs. Damon has a brisket sandwich. And then they got beans. Um, and they, I don't know if Will said, babe, did they say, you say they gave us this bottle of sauce? Yeah, because I ordered so much meat. Okay, so because we ordered so much meat, they actually gave us this bottle of barbecue sauce. So we're going to go ahead and eat, and I'll tell you guys um, what we thought of everything. Alright, we're done eating. We're in the car. They don't know what that is. Not going to that argument. Um, Rudy's. Damon, what did you think? Brisket sandwich. Okay, so. Nah, it was really good. Really good. Okay. Dalen had ribs. What'd you think? Slapped. Yeah. Slapped. Okay. <laughs> and Will had... Big guy! Prime... Prime rib. Brisket moist. <laughs> and jalapeno sausages that I share with everybody. It was very, very good. They said that the ribs that Dalen had, they ordered a little extra chew on that. But they tasted good, but they had a little nice smoky chewy. flavor. But, uh, it was a little chewy. And then I had a turkey sandwich because I don't really eat barbecue for real. I had a turkey sandwich. It was good. She's it was not tender. American. It was, American. it was good. It was tender. Um, and then I had a smoked baked potato, which was really good. And I'm going to eat my banana pudding later because I'm, I'm full of So we have.
have a taste that we're gonna that Damon and I bought some stuff when we were out yesterday. And we're gonna taste that and then uh, we're not doing it. I got fudge. Anyway. Uh, if it ruins my fudge, I'm gonna be mad. It won't. So I'm about to go to Dutch Brothers, give me some coffee, and we gonna see how that is. Okay, then I'm gonna that. And then they're gonna go back to the room where we're gonna do a taste. And then we're gonna end the vlog. So I'll see you in a minute. Good morning, timeless travelers. So didn't sign off last night. Didn't do anything we were supposed to do when we got back to the hotel. And then I was just done for. So um, hope you guys have been enjoying this series. Hope you guys enjoyed these videos. Um, if you did, go ahead and give us a thumbs up. Uh, go ahead and subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you can stay up to date on all of the other uh, adventures that we have coming up soon. Um, we are going to give you our review on everything in the next video. So stay tuned for that. We thank you guys for participating with us and, and just following along and being great. Uh, go ahead and leave a comment about the thing that you would have done on this trip and the thing that you thought um, would be the most fun. Thanks for watching and we hope all your travels are timeless. It's our birthday!